Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Tony. Today, we're going to make some chicken and dumplings. But for my wife, she is not a dumpling lover, so I am going to make a special chicken dish for her, and it's mine as dumplings. But before I start, I'd like to say something real quickly. The first time I ever had chicken and dumplings, I was like 13 or 15 years old. And this recipe by Roseanne P. was like the most amazing, it was like the most amazing thing I ever tasted. It went to instant number one. First, unlike the regular dumplings that we simmer and steam, in a pot, these were. This was actually made with bisquick, and it was amazing. It, it was baked. It was like kind of real creamy. And what I'm going to make tonight isn't going to be quite like that. I'm trying to do a more simplistic, quick one without having to take a fryer uh, and cut up a fryer or, and go from there. But I tell you, it is well worth it if you want to. I will put a recipe down below, and I think you are going to find it amazing. I find it amazing. Let me show you what we need to do. Okay, the first thing we want to do is take our celery and dice it up real fine and to nice little pieces, as you can see right there. And this here we're going to keep wrong for my wife and her soup because she doesn't really care for celery that much but she still needs the nutrients from it. Next I take my carrots and split them in half. One so they will lay flat on the surface because carrots are thick and hard. And two, they're smaller chunks that way too as you can see nice little small dice. Okay, as I start my pan for my uh, chicken and dumplings some butter and a little olive oil blend because I like the way that works let that melt down and get hot okay I'm hearing some sizzling so next I'm going to add some carrots Bring out the flavors and the juices. I'm going to add my celery. Just a quick flash of salt and the celery. Now for this, I'm going for about three, four minutes. My onion. Yeah, I like uh, onion, so I use the whole onion, but you can use a half. And also three cloves of minced garlic. A little more salt. A little pepper. A quarter teaspoon of pepper. Half a teaspoon of salt. For you watching your salts and stuff like that. Next, I'm adding some thyme. Stir this a little more. And 
give this a little more time, I think. Okay, we're getting about where we want to be. Now I'm going to add a pound of grilled cooked chicken breast because I love that flame kiss flavor. I'm going to add that. Look at that coming together. Mmm. That was delicious. Now I'm going to add some white wine to it. Pour a cup of white wine. Me, I'm more like a half cup kind of guy. Maybe a little more, two thirds. Because I just love the flavor of wine that's cooked into my food. Look at how nice and Look Woody, that's making that again. Okay, I hope we got the wine. There's a stem. Then I added about a quarter cup of flour to my dry ingredients in here and let it cook while I stirred it for about a minute and I'm slowly adding my water mixture. As you see it's kind of thick. So if we thin it too fast it's going to get all lumpy. So we want to do it slowly. Look at that how it's coming along. Now that we're at this pace we can probably go a lot faster. ounces in here. See how it's still soupy? I kind of like that thickness. Now I'm going to taste this. My final magic ingredient is this. this much and see how it tastes. Because we don't want to make it too too salty. This is like the magic ingredient. You use that on any dish. It gives it that kick. If my wife wasn't so allergic to it, the ingredients in it, I would use it for her. Because it just makes it taste delicious. That tastes good. That's perfect. So this will make quite a few frozen heat and eat meals. I decided I wanted to get some peas, so I steamed up some peas so it won't cool down my that pot. I'm gonna add some in here and I'll fold these in. Once this gets to simmering, we'll be ready for the dumplings. That's exciting me, folks. Let's put the lid on. Okay, for the dumplings, three-fourths of a cup of flour. That's the tablespoon measure, so... Two teaspoons of baking powder. A little bit of salt, because I want my dumplings to have some flavor. Pepper. We'll use a little garlic powder in here. Some thyme. We want to add these ingredients while it's dry so we can blend them all in. And a little bit of parsley flour. 
flakes. Just to help make it look pretty. Next we'll mix this all up real nice. Now I got that mixed up, I'm going to add a half cup of milk to this and blend it all in. Okay, next we're ready to, let's go check the stew and see how it's coming. As you can see my wife's is doing really well. I added some peas to it, probably about a quarter cup the peas to help give it some flavor and oh let it keep on simmering okay if you can see that that's actually simmering too fast right now we got to slow that down a little bit okay, let's stir this because we want to steam the dumplings okay this has been simmering for about 10 minutes that's a good pace. I'm set the flame down just a smidgen lower. Now we're going to drop our dumplings. Just drop it right on in there. So now we're going to let that simmer for 10 minutes. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. And I just turned the heat off on this. Oh, that smells so good, you guys. That looks so creamy, delicious. Just the perfect thickness the way I like it. Can't wait to try it. My wife's done. It has a little different smell than the normal smell that I'm used to. It has to be that gluten free. That is interesting. And if you can't tell, I'm not a really a gluten free kind of guy myself. I like my flour and my gluten. Okay, time for my chicken and dumplings. Look at all that yumminess there, folks. Mm -hmm. You see that? See how it's still soupy, but it's a little thicker and creamy? That's the consistency I like, right there. So let's go ahead and taste this. Okay, folks, it's time for that taste test. I'm just salivating, just smelling this and loving this smell. Mm. Soup is delicious. I can taste the thyme and all the blended vegetables with that kiss of wine and that flame kissed chicken flavor. Oh, that's the best. Mm. You talk about some good cooking food here, folks. real hot. I liked how they turned out with just the one flip and the steam and stuff on the top. It's 
at that. Look at how beautifully cooked that is. I know you can't see it, but it's cooked to perfection. Oh my goodness, folks. And, this, and the herbs and the and seasonings and the dumpling, that just, it's like a bonus treat. I think the dumpling is my favorite part. Or actually, I gotta have a dumpling in every bite. Mm -hmm. And again, I can't emphasize how it's the perfect creaminess with that quarter cup of flour in there. So for with the easy, quick put together without having to fry up a bird, I would recommend this. It's pretty delicious. It ain't like Roseanne Peas, which I think is my all-time favorite, but it is delicious, and it is the second best, and I love it. So thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that subscribe and notification bell to keep you updated. And I appreciate all you folks. Thank you, and God bless.